So Lowe's is like Home Depot. Everyone knows Home Depot. It's a big box retailer, right? They sell hammers. And, and uh, Lowe's has always been sort of the number two in that space. And, you know, everything they try, they try to be more consumer focused and everything. And nothing really, nothing's really worked in terms of the market, right? The investors, they just never track better. And they had a small innovation team that started working with SU, started scouring the space, protected by the CEO directly, outside of the core of the business. Um, they evaluated and found five different areas they wanted to invest in because they were crazy ideas like virtual reality and robots and some other interesting things. And um, uh, they started building prototypes. And, and one example is about building robots for stores. So, so they came in um, and said, wow, what can we do with robots? It just seems interesting. And uh, the in innovator, his name's Kyle Nell, he, he pitched the exec team on, on building robots. And they're like, we have an app that kind of does all that. Like, why would we waste any money on robots? And do people like to interact with robots? So as any good entrepreneur would do, he went ahead and built it anyways, right? So he's out on the edge, like nobody's watching him, so he goes and builds it. And he builds it by partnering with one of our startup companies, which big companies partnering with little startup companies, very difficult thing to do. Like, it's a, there's a whole process, different languages. So we went through that. Uh, three months into the engagement, they have this like little shaky robot prototype that comes in. The CEO and the top 12 of Lowe's walk in uh, and they present the robot and they're like, we thought we said no robot and then here it is. <laughs> it all, like in no time, it's already as natural language processing, speaks multiple languages, is integrated into the inventory management system and it all, instantly everyone's like, oh wait a minute, this, this is not what we thought, right? Six months later, it's in a store in San Jose. Right? So they put a prototype, well, it like a good prototype, but a couple of prototypes in a store to start interacting with people live in real time. Marketing, can you imagine what the marketing group was saying about this? They're like, this is going to be a disaster. We're going to kill our brand. Like, what if the robot kills somebody? Like, it, just like, <laughs> so, like legal, like the liability of this, like what, it's nuts. And so people, like, they don't like it. The corporate antibodies attack him. The stories will probably be published someday in a book, but it's crazy, right? It's crazy. He has the fortitude. He's like, you know what? We're totally going to deal with that marketing thing. Just get, you know, I'm, I'm really busy this week. And, you know, puts it off, puts it off, puts it off. And then the launch happens, right? And he's like, well, no, we can't do the launch. It happens. Like, the CEO protects it. The launch of this robot gets more publicity and press than anything the company has seen in its entire 80-year history in, by orders of magnitude. The next day, everyone's like, we got robots. Like, it's amazing. <laughs> Sales and marketing are totally behind it, right? So like, we're going we're gonna to make this happen. And, and so he ends up building credibility. And so, so that ends up empowering some of these other projects he's doing. From then on, the CEO internally starts talking about Lowe's as an information and innovation business. Nothing about retail, big box, anything. And probably a little, I think next month or so, there's a few things that they're unveiling that are making it very clear how far this Fortune 200 company has pivoted. I mean, radically. They're, they are a different business. They, today, if you go to space, like off the planet space, if you go to space, you can buy a Lowe's wrench from a 3D printer on the International Space Station today. Like literally, there's a Lowe's 3D printer made by a little company called Made in Space that came out of Singular University that they print stuff for astronauts, but also Lowe's backed it because they think that in the future, people are going to be off planet, and they're going to want to buy stuff, tools, hardware, stuff. And they're going to be the company that's selling it. And you know what? I think they're right. They've been around for 80 years. 80 years from now, can you imagine a future where we're not actually radically off the planet? No. So who's investing in it? What manufacturing company is building, is investing in 100 years of manufacturing from now? Right? There's one company. It's called Made in Space. A little company came out of SU, and, and they're like, They've got us, they're building large scale structures in space with NASA today, right? It's a, a different way of thinking. If you, if you project long term, your assumptions may change radically about what you should be doing today. 